G'day and welcome back to Duck Solid Gaming and Lakeland Vale Farm. I don't know where I'm going now. Alright, we're starting this episode where we left off the last episode. We are continuing on with setting up our cows. Um, disregard that, I was just checking out that uh, the other part of the road. Um, now I found this trigger is just, you need to be very, very close. So, um, that's okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the tip side on this bloke for now. Tip side left. Tip side right, and there we go. Right, um, yeah, so we are continuing on where we left off in the last episode. We are finishing sorting out our cows. I've just been delivering some grass. Um, so our grass for now will be okay. I just need to get some more straw. No, straw's okay as well. I finished off the straw. It's just TMR and some hay we need as well. So uh, I'm not so sure I need all of that at the same time. So let me know in the comments down below whether I've totally misread what I need to do. Um, as I run into the wall and the contract caller. Um, but yeah, so let me know if I'm doing things wrong. Because uh, I'm more than happy to change things up. And I'm, if I misunderstand, I'm, I'm sure I'll have a chat with JJ and he'll tell me what I'm doing wrong. But um, yeah, anyway. But that's it pretty much for the cows, I think, for now. I might just leave that and just see how they go. They've got water, they've got food for the moment. Uh, it's just a matter of waiting for that TMR to uh, process through and I'll give that a bit of a refill as well a little bit later on as well. All right, in the interim, we're gonna go for a drive just over the other field, field 11, and see how things are going over there for the harvest. I think we should be about due to bring a load back from the field. Um, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. So he's progressing. He's progressing well through here. So that's okay. All right, what's he at? He's at 19%. So he's just offloaded again. Uh, we're just going to park here so we're well off out of the way. And we'll shut that down. No, we won't. We'll, we'll get out without shutting down. We'll now shut it down. We'll wander over here. We'll grab the Voltra and we'll go and offload. Look at that beautiful view. And in fact, that's that's a good enough view that quickly I'll just do this. And right, I'll quickly just do this as well. You're seeing how I set up for my screenshots. And that will be for this video. Right. So that was using the easy development control. So if you haven't used that before, that's available on the in-game mod hub. I have a review on that particular mod as well. And I'll try and put a card up for that as well. But it's not just for YouTubers or whatever else. It's actually very good for setting up your farm. And that's what we use here on Ducks All the Game all the time. All right, he's off and running up there. So we're going to grab this guy after that little prelude. And we're going to offload this into the silo. So off we go. So we've got... Um, 66% load, so we've got 29,000 litres of soybean, and we're going to struggle up this hill, are we? Are we? Seemingly so. Um, we're going to offload this in the silo, and then we'll come back and put him in position. Now, the, the interesting part's going to be, again, we had this previously, in whether we need to be in exactly the same spot each time for the combine to find us. Uh, now, I, I seem to recall when we were doing it on Ingham, um, we did have a problem where we weren't in the same area. So we're going to have the same problem here because I haven't got a marker there to say exactly where I need to park. So uh, we'll just park him there and just see what happens. And if we've got to modify and move things around, well, that's what we'll do. But we'll be okay. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the silo here. Uh, I also do want to have a look before we do offload it, what we've got in the way of crop stored. Uh, so you haven't got a lot of anything there at the moment. There's only grass we've got a lot of. So it's not really worthwhile doing a load to the sell point at the moment. So we'll just continue on where we're at. Hit the trigger. Okay. Um, right. Oh, I didn't bring the HUD back on. Right, let's do that. Let's that that will help. Right, right. Gonna push all the product back out of the truck, the trailer. 
and there we go we've offloaded so this is a 45,000 litre capacity trailer so we were about two-thirds full so um, that's not too bad and that would be what uh, about four loads I think this combine has a storage of 7500 thereabouts internally so um, yeah all right so roughly he was located about here so this is where we're going to park him all right we're going to shut the engine off and we're going to hop back out all right so there we go so the combine's up there somewhere he should be turning around and coming back down so that's okay all right we're going to go back in the challenger and head back to the farm there's some other work we need to get done so uh we won't get paid or earn any money while we're just sitting around here looking at the scenery so let's get back into it Let's head back up here onto the road, through the trees. Without taking up the sign, hopefully, or the lamppost. All right. So, what we're going to do is I just want to check to see what the status of the sheep is. Now, sheep, water they need. Uh, they're okay for grass at the moment, so that's okay. All right, what else do we need to do? Uh, let's have a look at the fields. So, that field there is ready to harvest, isn't it? So, that's all done. Uh, this field here and here, they could probably use some fertilization actually. Um, but you know what? I haven't got a tractor with row crop tries. Um, we're going to have to invest, that's what we're going to have to invest on in is a little tractor with just row crop tires. Um, so, yeah, that's what we have to do. All right. Let's uh, let's continue on with the cows then, because for the cows, um, we could we could give them some silage. So how about we give them some silage, um, and just see how things go. All right, we have to reverse up to the silage because uh, we've parked the truck there. All right, so we're just gonna. Well, we've stuffed that up already. All right. Reversing is very ordinary today. All right. There we go. We'll have a truckload of silage or trailer load of silage. So we still got a fair bit of silage in there. We got one hundred and thirty thousand. We do need to check to see what we've got on the input side of these. Uh, so once we've dropped this load off, that's what we'll go and do. We'll go and check out to see um, what we've got to fill up in the way of the um, silos. Um, and then we'll go from that. All right, so it's going to come in here. Now I'm hoping, because we've changed the tip side for the trailer, we'll find and we do we find that a lot easier so it's not it wasn't what we thought it was anyway i apologize stevie i was thinking you did a bad trigger all right so he's dropping off some silage so that's okay for there now um so we've got 20 20 black and whites and we've got 10 blacks oh, i thought we had more than that i thought we, let's check the trailer I've been, have i left any in the trailer i hope not None in there. No, good. I didn't leave any there. Right, we're going to leave the challenger there for now. All right. Now I'm just going to go up. I'm going to check on these um, fermenting bins because I want to get uh, them filled up. So we'll just head on up here. We'll grab the big trailer and we'll fill them up with some grass or some straw as the case may be. Okay. All right. So we're in position there. Let's just see. So um, he's got nothing in the input. And he's got nothing in the input either. 
So we can give them a little bit of product. So let's uh, go fill up with some grass and fill these guys up a little bit so they can be producing more output. So we hope everyone is doing well today. It's been a busy start, hasn't it? Um, we are well. We are still battling with intermittent internet since we've upgraded our internet to the NBN. So NBN is the National Broadband Network in Australia. Um, for those of you that aren't Australians, it's been an absolute schmozzle. Um, and it's way overpriced and everything else, but uh, we're sort of forced into it. It's a government thing that was brought in by a previous... Uh, Prime Minister and government. Um, that's about as far as I'm going to say it because I'm going to get very cranky. Um, and yeah, so we've moved over to that now. It has given us a far increased upload speed, uh, which is good for uploading videos. Uh, so we've gone from less than five megabits per second upload, um, which was an upgrade from our previous about 1.2 megabit per second upload. Um, we've now gone to just under 40 so um it's a it's a huge increase for us in regards to uh what we're able to to put out um but just at the moment we're just going through some stabilization problems and all that sort of stuff so it's um yeah it's it's not going real smooth at the moment but um hopefully hopefully it'll all, all stabilize out soon and that's one of the reasons why we haven't really gotten to twitch in that yet because we did do a live stream the other day on um YouTube and we had a dropout uh, very early on I think 20 minutes into the stream and, uh, and then it killed the stream early as well so we do want to uh, continue with that but we just got to wait till it stabilizes because there's no point uh, starting a stream and having it dropping out regularly um, it's not good for me it's not good for you as a viewer so uh, yeah it's just on a temporary hold at the moment until we uh, get that all sorted as we speak right now, the, it's actually dropped out, so it's, it's currently restarting. But thankfully, it doesn't affect me doing recording. Uh, it just means that when I've edited the videos and that, I wait for it to be stable and up, and then I do all the uploading from there. All right. Yes, hope you and your family are okay um, in these stressful and testing times. Um, we are all okay here. We... Uh, we're doing okay. We've got the kids at home. It's now school holidays here in, in Australia and New South Wales. So uh, the kids have got two weeks off from school. Um, but they'll still be doing some schoolwork because of the fact that last week they haven't had the internet reliably enough to do their online schoolwork, which was uh, what we've been doing. So um, they're going to be doing a bit of catch up during the school holidays. And I mean, they're not going anywhere anyway because we're all effectively in a lockdown. So we're not really running around and, and going to be doing anything going on holidays or anything so um yeah they'll be doing a little bit of that plus just mucking about and just being kids hopefully and behaving more importantly so my wife and i don't go insane anyway so yeah i hope you guys are doing similarly okay um but it is trying and testing times if you need to have a chat or anything else come over and join us in discord we're more than happy to have a chat one-on-one -on -one or as a group or whatever else uh, or if you just want to forget what's going on in the world uh, then feel free to come over as we're getting a bit of sluggish performance here at the moment. I don't know why. Why is it being so sluggish? All right, now it's returned back to normal. All right. <clears throat> I don't know what happens there. What's happened there? But anyway, we'll continue along until we can't continue along any further all right another load of grass in here and we're going to put in the other fermenter so another load here uh, and we're going to need some grass again so um we are going to have to get a field with grass in it i think and just permanently be doing grass because we're going to be going through it a fair bit so um I think our next field purchase might be the smaller field to the west of field five. Uh, and is it number six? Probably isn't. Um, and that will become a permanent grass field over there. So we'll have to see how things pan out with that. All right, so over we go through here. 
and we're going to load up this one over here. The T560 should be refueled soon. Alright, no worries. We can do that. We can we can refuel. That's not a problem. Alright, once we've uploaded this, we'll be... In fact, let's have a look now, see what we've got. <clears throat> this is lagging us out, so it's this bin that seems to cause a bit of lag, possibly. Let's have a look. Right. All right, why? Come on. There we go. Now we're back to normal. Right. Let's go back to the truck. No. Go that way. Oh dear. What's going on here? No. We're being attacked by a green monster. Ah, oh, you stupid John Deere driver. Seriously. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Right, yeah, you're in traffic, all right. All right, uh, let's just. Uh, right. I'm in the Vulture still. Right, let's. Um, you imbecile. Right. Now, it's only because of John Deere. What I reckon's happened is the driver's lost control because something's failed. And that's what's happened to it. Right. Surely it can't be anything else other than that. All right. Now can we get this uprighted? Yes. Right. See, skill set. Right. It's a Voltra, not a John Deere. It's used to being on its wheels, not on its side. All right. Let's, um... All right. Now, I'm hoping it's just because of the turn. I don't know. He's not full. Is he just offloaded, possibly? I don't know. All right. What we'll do, though, is while we've done that, we'll go off and refuel him and then possibly look at trading him in. Um, we'll go off and offload him. Uh, sorry, off. Refuel him. And then uh, we'll go from there and see what happens from that. But that's just silliness. Absolute silliness. All right. Uh, we've got a fuel point around here. Without taking out the fuel hose. Right. Refuel him. Right. This is why I've always said you need to be watching John Deere equipment. So we took our eyes off for five minutes. We trusted it to be working okay, and then it goes and does that. The poor old Vulture has been scratched and dinged and damaged. And this thing's just blown everything up. Right. So where are we at? So, yeah, he is obviously just... He's, he has just done a, an offload because he's left from the top end of the field up here. You can see where he's come down. So um, we, we're going to fix that and then we'll be good. Apologies for my phone going off. Uh, we've just fixed that as well. Right. So we're going to cut through. Oh, I've got crop. Why have I got crop destruction turned off? I have to fix that too. That's not normal. All right, start course. All right, there we go. Now you continue on without damaging my Voltra. Okay, 
while we're here, let's just go back and make sure crop destruction is on. It should always be on. On. Right. Uh, yeah, that's okay. All right. There we go. Now he's going to continue on. Now, obviously, in fact, what we've got to do, that's not working. So we are going to have to um, go to the advanced settings and turn this off. Okay, because that's not working very well. So, turn that off. I'm not going to have that happen again. Right. Okay, so, uh, you're okay. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to come in here and we're going to check the status of these, won't we? So, we've got 65,000 in bulk materials on the input, which is okay. And in here, we've got 130,000. Right, so, let's have a look and see what the plan is going to be from here going forward. So, uh, we were going to fertilize here. We're not going to do that because I haven't got a tractor with grass. Field 22 was is there the field 22 or field 6 we're going to, we'll have to get. Uh, and that'll become our permanent grass field, I think. Um, so we're not going to have enough grass at the moment to sustain what we need to do. So I'm thinking field 19 would be good as a grass field. Um, what can we do in the way of, right. We've got a million dollar line. Maybe, maybe we do just go alone, you know. And we just, uh, what's in there? Remove tops. We don't want that. Field 22. What's field 22 got in at the moment? It's got canola. Let's, I, I know we weren't going to do it, but let's, let's do it. Let's go into debt a bit more. Um, okay, I'm going to have to put a pause in there. I've got to remove a mod, which is causing this issue of not having this graphical thing here. So uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we are back. So let's get back in here and do what we were talking about before. And that's this field here and money. So let's have a look. Uh, so this one here is going to cost us 614000 So do we go to the extent of actually buying that? Well, that's going to cost us 614000 This one here, 691 That one there, 612 I think... That hurts sometimes. I think we might be better off. I think we'll go this one. All right, so let's see if we can get enough money in a loan to cover that purchase. So uh, we need 612,000. So really putting the pressure on the bank manager here. So let's see what we can do. In fact, no, we don't want to buy that one because that's got the wrong crop in it, do we? We're going to. There we go. So we've got 628,000. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy this one here because that one there's got beetroot in it. Or was it potato? Beetroot, I think. Or sugar beets, I should say. So we're going to buy this one. 614,000. Um, so we're going to buy that one now. Yes. Right. So now that means, if we go back to the map overview, we have a field there. That is ready to harvest. Okay, so the bonus is we get the harvest out of that straight away. So that that should help offset, even though we won't make a profit off it straight away because we're not going to sell it straight away. But that will certainly offset um, the purchasing price of that field a little bit straight off the bat. And then that field there, once harvested, will become our grass field. Or Vicky Verka, this might become our grass field. And that, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to have a look at the lay of this field and see what's best. All right. Anyway. So for the moment, that is pretty much going to be it for this episode. Um, we'll go over here and check, see what we've got in the way of the wool. So that load of wool's not ready yet. Sheep are over here, they're okay. I'm going to give them a top of a water. Like so. They need to cut their grass down. They need a bit more grass. All right, so we're going to tap across and see what else is going on. So the combine's back up there again. He's... Uh, Continuing on, he's being put on isolation. He's not allowed to go near any other equipment. So um, he's in self-isolation. He's not allowed to approach equipment. The equipment can approach him once he's come to a dead stop. Uh, right, this guy here, I don't think... I uh, probably could do another load of grass, but I'm not going to worry about that for the moment. Uh, this guy here, we'll bring this guy back up to the farm. Uh, let's actually let's have a look and see how much TMR we've got. We might just take the TMR that's there and put that in with the cow straight away, uh, just to get them continuing on. Um, 
37,000. Is that right? Because I'm sure we didn't. All right, it's right. There we go. 21,000. All right, well, let's, let's just get this. Uh... Let's get this offloaded. Let's give them some, as much TMR as we possibly can. I want to keep these guys as happy as we can. All right. Offload. Okay, so we've offloaded another trailer there. We'll get another almost full trailer, and then that will be it. And that'll be it for this episode as well. So, thanks very much for watching the episode. I hope you're enjoying this, uh, our our adventures on Lakeland Vale Farm. We've just expanded the farm, and that is great uh, at much debt. Um, so the first thing we need to do is start making some money and then pay that debt off. So I don't think there'll be much more expansion for now. Um, we'll get what we've got available to be done now, and then uh, we'll pay the bank back and then we'll start making pure profit for ourselves and expanding our own farm a bit more after that so there we go last load of tmr for now and so take care of yourselves and your loved ones uh make sure you you are able to uh, mentally stimulate yourself and talk to others all that sort of stuff so uh do all that sort of good thing come and join us in discord if you wish uh we are there pretty much 24 7 so um or at least someone's in there 24 7 so come in there and have a chat with us uh, of course, if you like the episode, press that like button. We would like to see your like button, like button pushing. Um, makes us aware of whether people are enjoying the episode or whatever else. And of course, don't forget to come and join us on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and of course, Discord. Um, the details for all of those are down below in the comments. And don't forget, if you're not already a subscriber to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well. So you're made aware of when more videos are available on the Ducks All The Gaming channel. So, until next time, make sure you keep those John Deere Combine Harvesters away from any other equipment because they will damage it. And make sure you're always carrying a fire extinguisher. And on that note, we'll talk to you all very soon. Take care and we'll be back here very soon on Ducks All The Gaming and Lakeland Vale Farm. See you later. Bye.